Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at kind of the auto growing farm that you guys can make. Pretty simple. Um, going to go and give you a demonstration. We're just going to, I'll explain what's going on with this field here in just a second. But let's go ahead and plant our things and watch it grow. And you can see there, it just grows right in front of your eyes. Pretty basic. Um, so this is once again taking advantage of the fill command and the new test for blocks command. Um, what's going on with this field right here is it's just being affected by this uh, command block right here, field A replanting, and it's just a fill command. These are the coordinates for that field and it's just placing wheat zero over and over and over again. This redstone block right here is actually a running clock. Uh, so if you guys aren't familiar with clocks, just go back and watch my video on how to make redstone clock, and that should explain it. Uh, it this is just being placed here by uh, these command block lines in my world. Um, no need to get you guys distracted with that. And then this next command block right here is testing for this field B to match this field A. So if we take a look, grab some bone meal. If we take a look and we plant this seed, say we let it grow a couple times, and we plant all these other ones, it's not going to grow. It is looking for this area to perfectly match this area before it starts firing off uh, this series of commands. So if we just go ahead and replace it, once again you'll see it grows. Um, so this is just the test for blocks. And this may, um, this is a lot of coordinates. It probably seems a little confusing. Uh, let me just kind of explain what's going on here. So you've got the uh, test for blocks, and that is plural blocks, not test for block, test for blocks. Uh, and then you're just going to give your x, your y, and your z coordinates for one corner of um, your field A, whatever um, area it is you're wanting to match identically, not the area that needs to match it. Um, and then your x2, y2, and z2 coordinates for that area that is going to be your example. Um, and then, this is a little tricky, uh, you need your negative most coordinates for this area over here. So, over here, grab a couple of markers. So over here we're essentially just selecting between this area here uh, and looking for an exact match over here. Um, but the only coordinate that it needs to know to uh, for this area here is going to be your negative most. So just take a look. Um, so this is the negative x direction, so whatever coordinate is further this way, and negative z coordinate, so whichever coordinate is further this way. So we're only going to give it this red block value right here, and it already knows uh, the size area to use um, from the first selection. So we've got x, y, z, x2, Y2, Z2, and then finally our X, Y, and Z to mark that one corner. And then right here, all you need to do is either an all to um, ask it to look for all blocks uh, to match, including air or masked, which means it's just looking for non-air block, uh, non-air, or all blocks that aren't air block. It's looking for all of those to match. 
and so once it gets a confirmed signal on that it will just send a signal through this comparator which will then start to run this series of command blocks and I just went ahead and spaced them out and uh, did every single growth stage just so that um, you guys can get a really cool visual on it uh, you can shorten it up if you want so it takes up a little less space you could make it longer if you wanted uh, it's all kind of up to you but all of these next seven command blocks are all going to look basically the same they're just going to be doing a fill command for this field B over here and uh, we're just going to be placing wheat 1 to replace wheat 0 um, if we take a look at our debug screen fully grown wheat if you look on the uh, right bottom side of the text um, it says minecraft wheat age 7 um, so there is going to be seven different ages of wheat um, if we go ahead and look here we go and grow it that's stage 4 that's stage 7 so we're just going to take it one stage at a time and that's why uh, you guys can see this really cool kind of full growth cycle works its way through every single stage there so all this first one is doing is replacing uh, stage 0 with stage 1 and then as we move along we're replacing stage 1 with stage 2 uh, stage 2 with stage 3 and so on and so forth all the way down to the end and that's basically that it's um, not too complicated uh, like I said it's going to be kind of tricky if you're doing a really large field because if you're planting and it takes too long to uh, get all the way through and one of these guys decides to grow you're going to have to go back and fix it so that it is identical and you would also have to increase the size of this area here um, but you can do a whole lot of cool little things uh, I mean you could you could make it set off particles every time that it grows a stage you could have it only work if a uh, player with certain scoreboard is in the area all kinds of things and I also found a cool little thing uh, down here at the end after stage 7 growth I just stuck a couple extra repeaters down and a command block to do a fill replace with air 0 and instead I went ahead and set it to destroy um, if you guys aren't familiar when you use the destroy side of a fill command it will actually drop um, whatever blocks it replaces so uh, the wheat will actually grow and then automatically break and you'll be able to pick it all up pretty easily um, but yeah let me know leave some comments below some links in the description uh, not in the description or, or some links to uh, anything fun or cool that you guys are able to do with this I'd be really interested in seeing uh, application of this I think it's really cool uh, and we will catch you guys for the next episode.